Toon Boom Harmony is the industry standard when it comes to animation, especially as it's such a feature and tool-rich software. For this reason, the software naturally has a steep learning curve that needs to be remedied by tutorials. In our video today, we will introduce you to our pick for what we think are the best tutorials you can find for Toon Boom Harmony. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. We start off light. This video is more informative than it is a technical tutorial, but it should help you decide if Toon Boom Harmony is right for you at all. If you have this figured out already, feel free to skip this part, but if not, this video could save you a lot of time and energy. Crown Prince goes into a lot of detail on why the software might suit you or not, such as the price, the workflow, availability of resources, and PC requirements, to name just a few. Even if you have decided you want to start learning Harmony, we highly recommend this video. It will give you a rundown of all things you must know before fully committing to Harmony. Talk about a full-blown series all about Toon Boom Harmony. That's what Sean's series is all about. This series teaches you exactly what it says in the title, how to make your very own cartoon using Harmony. Just in the first video of the series, Sean starts off by helping you get to know all the basics about Harmony. What it is, what it's used for, if your PC and wallet can handle it, and what you will get out of watching his series. The series then goes into each and every step of making an animation with a dedicated video. So, you're sure to not miss anything. It starts off with a video for the planning process of the animation with ideas, scripts, and storyboards. It then moves on to the more technical aspects with other videos, such as designing a character turnaround, rigging your character's different body parts, lining, coloring, and so on and so forth, until you have your own little cartoon. This is a great way to start your Toon Boom Harmony journey, and we couldn't recommend it highly enough. Sean's videos are all sectioned, time-stamped, and neatly organized in a single playlist. This makes coming back to a tutorial or a part something very easy to do. This high-quality series is rarely found for free, so we recommend you jump on it ASAP. This tutorial by Onion Skin goes into all the fire animation goodness. Onion Skin shows us how we can use a mix of frame-by-frame -frame animation, automation, and the native particle system in Toon Boom Harmony to create a fluid and nice fire animation. The video is narrated in its entirety, showing all steps and with a very well-mixed audio. Unfortunately, the video is not sectioned nor timestamped, but luckily it's fairly short, with only about 12 minutes for the entire video. So, if you'd like to learn how to animate fire in Harmony, we highly recommend this video. Matter of fact, Onion Skin's entire YouTube channel is actually dedicated to making Toon Boom Harmony a lot more accessible and understandable to users beginner and advanced, which is a valuable and rare source to come by. So we highly recommend you check out Onion Skin's channel and watch all their different Toon Boom Harmony videos to understand the software better. If you want a very beginner-friendly video tutorial about Toon Boom Harmony, you'll find it in this one. Jess, or Jesse, takes great care in explaining all of the basic parts of the software, such as the concept of vectors that Harmony works with. The tutorial is about 30 minutes long, but fear not, it is sectioned and timestamped. It goes into the interface of the software, the different tools that you can use for your animation, and of course, the animation process itself, all up to uploading your little animation onto YouTube. This can be a great way for people wanting to kickstart their YouTube animation channel to learn how the software works and make it work for their needs. If you fit into this category, be sure to check Jess's video. If you're a fan of whimsical, dreamy, stylish art house animation, oh my god, that's a mouthful, but you get me, right? Anyways, if so, you might find that this video is made just for you. The Bird Brain, yeah, I get it, the French touch, isn't it? Anyway, the Bird Brain shows us how we can achieve a watercolor, whimsical, dreamy feel to our animation using Harmony in this very quick 8 minute video. The narration is a bit quick, but nothing a speed of 0.75 can't fix. 
The video is also not timestamped, but that's probably because the process is a very quick and straightforward one. This tutorial can really help you make your whole animation incredibly aesthetically pleasing and artistic with a few steps, or can help you communicate that the scene is in a dream situation. All in all, it's an incredibly helpful effect to know about. Just like Onion Skin, this channel is dedicated to teaching you all about Harmony with plenty of tutorials about many different things, so do check her channel out for more tutorials on the software, especially if you like her presentation. One of the many things Harmony is used for is animating different assets for a 2D game. In this video, Mike runs us through all the features Harmony has that allow us to do just that. For instance, he shows us the wonders of the pen tool and how we can use different pressure sensitivity options and how we can change the shape and texture of a stroke and so on and so forth. This video isn't just for game development animations though. These tips can easily be applied to regular animation as well. The video is sophisticated with great audio, so be sure to check it out. It's both informative and fun to watch. In this five-part series, Imagine Panic walks us through how we can animate visual effects using Toon Boom Harmony. The series delves deep into the topic, covering all basics from tweaking your preferences, shortcuts, nodes, to the animation process itself. It's also worth mentioning that Imagine Panic's entire channel is a great source to learn all about Toon Boom Harmony, so we highly recommend checking his channel out. You might find the video just for you. In this video, John walks us through the entire process of rigging a character in Harmony. The tutorial is quite long, being around 40 minutes and unfortunately isn't sectioned nor timestamped, but is incredibly helpful and informative. The video is slow paced and isn't as active or upbeat as other more recent videos, but those aren't for everyone and if you prefer this quieter approach to learning, this video is for you. Speaking of learning approaches, if you prefer a fun and quick video with tips, this video could be a really fun watch for you. Emmy walks us through a time lapse showing her going through the animation process of a short animation. She narrates the whole process and gives helpful quick tips here and there in a fun way. This video can also give you an idea on the different ways you can approach animating, as Emmy uses a mix of frame by frame animation and a puppet animation in the same project. If any of this sounds interesting, we highly recommend you check Emmy's video. If you want a full-fledged deep dive into rigging in Harmony that is timestamped and semi-narrated, this two-part tutorial is a must-watch. The two parts are about two hours and a half combined, but go deep into the subject. He starts off by showing us how we can get a similar interface as his. He also shows us all the shortcuts he uses if you wish to have the same ones. He then goes straight into the process, starting off every section with a bit of narration to help catch you up to speed if you happen to be lost in the tutorial. It's definitely very hefty, but it can be a great way for you to understand what rigging is all about. And that's it for our video. We hope you enjoyed it and found the tutorial for you. If we missed anything, make sure to let us know in the comments below. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.